What? 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 Uh huh. What? What? Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this gonna be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. But I shouldn't take it out on you. Mission. You have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Karth. Well, that's not a deal. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... Oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Karth, for an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing.
I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the ones
one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most, Saul. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Hey there. What can I do for you? I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subjects closed, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Okay, have it your way. Ready. Yes? No problem. Didn't work. 
You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black vulgar who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. 